Live in full 16 by 9 digital widescreen. Action 3 News live at midday. It's National Cholesterol Education Month. Joining us now to give us more information about cholesterol is Dr. Charles Olson. Dr. Olson is the medical director for Methodist Cardiac and Vascular Center. I also do a lot of work too with the American Heart Association. Good to have you here, doctor. Thank you. Tell us a little bit more about cholesterol. I guess what is cholesterol for people who may not know? Cholesterol is one of the fats that's found in our body and it's an essential part of who we are. Our body uses it to uh, make hormones and um, make substances for your cells to talk to each other. But if it's, if it's in excess in your body, it ends up in your artery walls and you end up with a heart attack or a stroke. What is too high for cholesterol? Well, we know the total numbers that 240 and above is too high. If you're between the level of 200 and 240, you've got some risk. Below 200 is a good number. That's good. You know, I used to have about 220 something with a really bad ratio of good and bad cholesterol, but now I'm a low risk. I'm like 185 with a really good ratio. So, but it takes some work. I need to do exercise. I also take, I take omega-3. Do you think that helps? I take that I, vitamin. I think that helps a lot of people. Um, and if you can get your numbers down, if you can go from a level of 240 to 200, you can cut your risk of vascular disease down by about a half. Oh, wow. What other things can people do? I know there's, like I said, exercise, maybe taking vitam vitamins, but diet modification probably has to be pretty big. Diet's a big part of it. Cholesterol comes from two sources in our body. We produce it mostly from saturated fat, so we want to avoid fats that are found in animals, mostly in meat and dairy products, and go more towards the oils that are found in plants. Our body has a harder time making cholesterol out of those substances. And also watch our cholesterol intake, especially things like egg yolks. Eat the egg whites. And those can be just as good. Right. Usually just put more salt and pepper on it. All right. Doctor, thank you so much for joining us today. We appreciate you coming on, and hopefully everyone can get some tips and reduce their cholesterol and their risk for heart disease and stroke. Okay. Thanks good for having me. Good to see here. you. CT will be back with another look at our forecast after this.